all right hi there how are you guys doing i believe you guys are having a good day where you are right in my previous video i talked about how you could you know how you could treat weak erection and how you could put a stop to weak ejaculation right in today's video i'll be looking at i'll be looking at rather on how you could know a healthy sperm that's capable of you know fertilizing an egg and impregnating a woman okay so stay tuned i'll be right back in the short one all right so welcome back now if you want to know if perhaps you've gone for a sperm test or analysis now definitely you would need a 20 million you know each of a healthy sperm that, that is going to be 20 million per one milliliter of semen okay 20 million of you know of sperm a healthy sperm in a one milliliter of semen so that that shows the quantity okay that is the quantity needed now number two is the shape okay a healthy sperm contains you know all of the sperm have to have to be spherical in shape with a tail all right spherical in shape with a tail we should see this right it's behind it's right above me here now now the second one now the, the third one is movement all right uh, uh, i should say the pace it moves the speed it moves now a healthy sperm needs to move at a greater speed okay at a, if, if the sperm moves very sluggishly it will struggle to get to its destination okay it will struggle to get to its destination and uh, certainly it might probably on the road on the way of going there probably you know die and um it's not a good thing for it's not good news now if for a healthy sperm it has to move at a good speed to get down to where the egg is and fertilize it you know in turn the woman gets pregnant okay now the the, the fourth one is like most of us know this one but uh, uh some of us as well doesn't know about it now if you want to know a healthy sperm guys a bucket of water i mean this is a local way of uh, identifying or for you personally to be able to know if you've got a healthy sperm right or if you're capable of impregnating a woman now you go and get a clean bucket of water okay why you you discharge the sperm that comes out from it allow it drop inside the water okay once it drops inside the water and goes down to the bottom of the water that means it's a healthy sperm but if, if if the the sperm stays afloat, you know it afloats on the water, definitely uh, there is trouble there. Or it stays, you know, within the middle of the water, that means there is trouble. I need to, you know, try and do something about it. So if it goes down straight down to the water, you got a healthy sperm. Now I, I've done a couple of videos. I want you to go watch it. I will be attaching it to this very video once I'm done the the uh, the problem of uh, infertility okay the problem between man and a woman a man and a woman the infertility problems i've listed a couple of it there and i'll as well be making video because uh, this very what i'm doing now is because of the request people have um, I, I did a couple of video a while ago and uh, someone talked about this i decided to make a video now should in case you would want us to make any form of video of any health tip, beauty, fitness, and uh, otherwise, I don't want you to as well comment below, and uh, I would, you know, ensure such video is made as soon as I can. Thank you very much, and stay beautiful.